Welcome to Sunrise Meditations on the beautiful and serene Enders Island. Today is Thursday after Ash Wednesday, and I'm your host, Deacon Francis Valier. Alexio Divina is from the Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 9, verses 22 through 25. Let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God of love, through your sacred word, enable us to work for justice among the poor and the oppressed, and keep us undivided in love in the community of your church, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And now let us listen and attend to our gospel passage, proclaimed by Michael Toole. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, The Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed and on the third day be raised. Then he said to all, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world, yet lose or forfeit himself? In today's Gospel reading according to St. Luke, we read a short passage which is about death and life. It begins with Jesus foretelling what is going to happen to him intense physical suffering, mental suffering through total rejection by the leaders of his own people, and a brutal execution. But all will lead to the resurrection and a new life that can never be taken away. Jesus then goes on to say that anyone who wants to be one of his followers must be prepared to walk the same path carrying their cross after Jesus. Perhaps we should emphasize that we are to carry our cross, which will be different from the cross of Jesus and from that of other people. And Jesus tells us that it is something we must be prepared to do every day. Of course, it is a call which goes against many of our normal instincts. Renouncing self goes against our desire to advance ourselves in the eyes of others. Who does not want to preserve their life? Self-preservation is a deep instinct. But self-preservation is not the same as self-advancement. Jesus is saying that a life spent focused only on ourselves and our self-advancement is ultimately a recipe for self-destruction. In this, we are bound to be disappointed. The only way to live is, like Jesus, to offer our lives for the benefit of others in love and caring and solidarity and compassion and mercy and justice. This is the only way to truly find ourselves and to come out winners. What is the good of winning the whole world, becoming incredibly rich and famous, and to lose one's integrity, one's self-respect, one's dignity as a person, the source of one's true happiness. Our world, Christian and otherwise, is covered with statues and images of people who gave their lives for others, for causes and values greater than themselves. They are our heroes and our models. They are our saints. And first among them, of course, is Jesus, dying in apparent failure and humiliation on a cross. We now see that cross as a victorious symbol of the greatest love that one can show for his brothers and sisters. Something for us to ponder this Lent. Amen. After our closing prayer, we read the scripture passage and contemplate the message. Concentrate on a thought that comes to you, a verse, or 
even a word that touches you and ask the Holy Spirit to show you how it pertains to you and how you may spiritually grow closer to him. And let us complete our divine reading with a closing prayer and let us pray. Having received the blessing of your holy word, we humbly beseech you, almighty God, that your word, Jesus, may always be for us a source both of pardon and of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be upon you always, and may his blessings fill your day with joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.